So, um, it's Sunday, June, um, what is it, 13th, 14th, 2020, middle of June. And um, I'm watching the news, and there's another shooting of a black man. Which is tragic because he looked like he was um, probably a pretty peaceful, harmless kind of person from what it looked like. But he made a mistake um, and the officers made a mistake too. And I have some thoughts about it um, because I've dealt with police officers and I'm a white woman. And I guess I have some white woman privileges, I guess. But I've been... Um, I've handled situations where I was assumed upon that I was uh, too drunk to drive. And that was when I was completely sober. I had just been attacked by a woman. So I was a little punch drunk. And the officer thought I was drunk. And I was respectful to the officer. And I told him, he goes, you can't drive, ma'am. I said, why not? He goes, because you're drunk. I said, no, I'm not. He goes, yes, you are. I said, no, I'm not. He goes, how long has it been since you've had anything to drink? I said, over two and a half years ago. I said, I'll tell you what. If you think I'm incapable of driving, I will leave my vehicle parked here and I will call my partner to come pick me up or I'll ask my friend to drive me home. Will that make you happy? And he said, fine. Well, he let my friend drive me home. And um, I got out of my vehicle, got my stuff, gathered it up, got out of my vehicle and I said, hey, you want to drive me home? This officer thinks I'm drunk. And my friend knew I hadn't had anything to drink. And um, the officer looked at me, goes, I said, he said I was too drunk to drive. He goes, no, I didn't say that. I said, yes, you did. <laughs> and anyways, um, we had a little conversation. And my friend, he goes, all right, we're all adults here. And so he lets my friend drive me home. And my friend had had two beers and a whiskey. <laughs> uh -huh. But he got me home safely. I'm driving like a bat out of hell. So this situation with Rayshard Brooks that just happened in Atlanta uh, ended in his death. And that's sad. It's, it could have been prevented. One, um, when the officers were talking to him, they could have easily done some problem solving. They could have said, okay, why don't you get a taxi? Since you're too drunk to drive home, why don't you get a taxi and leave your vehicle and come and pick it up tomorrow when you're sober? Why don't we call your... Uh, partner, your your daughter's mom, who you're out celebrating, trying to have a good time, because that's what people can do. They do go to bars and stuff to celebrate and have, you know, a, a good adult time. And usually they make sure they have a designated driver. They keep people safe. Um, why don't you uh, sit on the curb for a couple hours before you drive home or something? Why don't you... Um, let us drive you home. We can drive you home. You don't have to go to jail. We'll just drive you home and make sure you get home safely. Um, there's so many things that could have gone differently for him to still be alive where he didn't have to die over having a few drinks. Um, he did make a mistake by resisting arrest. He could have just calmly got arrested and went to jail and spent a night in jail, whatever, and got a DUI. The woman who attacked me and tried to kill me the one on drugs, she only spent four days in jail. And then she was let loose. <laughs> so I can't imagine somebody just having a few drinks would have that bad of a rap sheet. Um, anyways, I'm pissed that another person died over trying to go out and just have a good time. Um, I have family members that go out and drink. Or they stay home and drink. And they go out as a group. And they use party buses and they drink. I have family members who are drinkers and they're not in jail. They're not dead. Um, I have a family full of drinkers. My daughters even go to casinos and drink. They're moderate drinkers or they're social drinkers. But here's a poem I wrote. And cause that's what I do is I write poems. Um, back in 2013, I wrote this one seven years ago. It's called Sober Reality. When she realized her pink cloud was fading, the evening sky radiated every mutable and mocking shade of pink she could imagine. She could not say why she had to stop. The 
pull her van over and stare at the sky. The first time, the second time, the third time. She could ignore her complaining children. She could ignore her disconsolate boyfriend. She could not ignore that pink-filled sky. They rolled their eyes. They did not understand. The sky, the clouds, the fading glow of pink, the moment in front of her, that irretrievable intoxication. Like the black vultures feasting on the carcass of the dead dog, there in the field, under the softening sky, the black birds, the dead dog, the pink cloud gone, the unmistakable gift. So, sobriety sucks, especially when you watch the news. <laughs> um, life can suck. It, it sucks. And being a black man in America is dangerous. It sucks. Just trying to be a normal person surrounded by a bunch of police officers can suck. Why did they have to kill him? Why didn't they just let him run? Okay, he grabbed their taser, but he was running away from them. Why didn't they just let him go? He's got a taser. <laughs> He's on his feet. He wasn't driving. He was not going to hurt anyone on his feet, I don't think. God, that whole situation could have been handled so much differently. So they could have just sat there and talked to him for a long time. Um... He took the breathalyzer, so if he was obviously intoxicated, they could have just talked to him. They could have... If he had just not a, resisted arrest, they could have taken him to an AA meeting or something. or just He could have just sat in a cell for a night. and God, that could have just been handled so differently. He wasn't on... It didn't look like... He looked like a decent person. He wasn't on street drugs. Um... It didn't look like he was some criminal. God, I hate that. I just hate it. Police officers need to really handle situations differently. They just do. Guns, I hate guns. You can't take a life back once you fire a bullet into someone and kill them. You can't take it back. It's like throwing a rock out a window. You can't take the rock back. The window breaks. And then you got a window to fix. Now, because of this man's death, there's another shattering. Lives are shattered. I'm sure of it. And it's just going to be, it's going to, it's like another martyr.